Hey guys, Papa Pete back again today, and Coco is right laid back in the basket this time. And I have a very special, imagine that, a very special pickup this time. It's such a special pickup, I don't know if I can pick it up. It's another huge box from Respawn and Replay. Let me tell you this, it's Xbox time, guys. Here we go. Pop a pee, pop a pee, the old ass gamer. Pee, pop a pee, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. Coco wants to remind you to check out IntellivisionCollector.com for all your television collecting needs. Whether it's accessories, homebrews, or games from the original 125, check out IntellivisionCollector.com. All right, before we start with this huge box, Coco, I'm going to have a special craft beer, and this one is a beer, a brewery I've never tried before. It is from Salt Box Brewing Company in Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia. And what I have here is a holy mackerel pale ale <laughs> holy mackerel that's amazing i love it uh 5.4 percent alcohol anyway got my expose glass here and let's crack it open take a look nice aroma not too bad at all nice amber color nice look of beer let's try it out yeah it tastes like a pale ale uh, a little bitter not too bad um I'm not going to say it's one of the favorites I've ever had, but overall, really not too bad. Um, I would definitely, if somebody gave me one, drink one. Am I going to go back and buy a bunch of them? I don't think it's one that I'm going to go back and like stock up on next time I'm in Nova Scotia. But that being said, nothing wrong with that beer at all. Holy Mackerel Pale Ale from Saltbox Brewing in Mahone Bay, Nova Scotia. Give it a try if you get a chance. All right, Coco, let's go with this pickup. It's going to take a lot to open this box. Oh, my God, it's heavy. It's huge. Got some great stuff coming. Uh, man, it's going to take me a minute to open it up. Got to listen to a little RGC, right? Don't know what I'm going to listen to. Maybe today i uh, going to dig into this box. So let's listen to a little bit of Dig Dug. Here we go. I don't know, but I do know that I like the Dig Dug. Dig Dug, Dig Dug. It's time, please. All right, guys, we have it open. Just as always, freaking Sebastian of Respawn Replay has really done an amazing job of packing this. So we'll set her down. We'll start looking at some games. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is the box protectors. I can get box protectors from Sebastian at Respawn and Replay cheaper in Canadian money than any place I've ever bought them from in the States in American money. I would think it's even going to be cheaper for somebody in the States to buy them from Sebastian and pay the shipping to have them shipped down because the shipping really isn't that bad from Canada into the States uh, and have them shipped down than it will be to buy them right from the States themselves. So, man, uh, and the thing is, is there's lots of variety. I've got all kinds of box protectors, but the one thing that I find is very hard to get are long box or tall box uh, box protectors for the Intellivision games. And he's just recently gotten them in, so I bought a bundle of 100. This is great for any of the homebrews, uh, any of the Magic titles, because they just don't fit in the smaller box uh, boxes very well. They're too wide, but they fit in these ones. Uh, also, and one of the main reasons I needed a lot more of these is for the French Canadian in television games. I have a ton of those now that I've gotten from both CMart and Luke, uh, the television collector, over the last little while, uh, last year or so. And these are the protectors that you have to put them in. So, again, very difficult to find these uh, these tall box protectors for in television games. But Respawn and Replay has them in stock right now, and I just picked myself up a hundred. And I don't know if that's going to do it, but man great source and i highly recommend it to any of the intellivision collectors out there okay so let's get on to the rest of the pickups and they're all xbox games right look how he bundles them up each time he bundles them right like this and all kinds of great shrink wrap and i'm just going to pull one out at random we'll take a look and the first one i'm pulling out is going to be nfl blitz pro awesome it's got the friggin hologram right there on it uh manual Oh, he's even got a little piece of shrink wrap in there to protect the disc. 
Beautiful condition. Got to love the NFL Blitz games and super additions to any collection, right? That's just great. Love it. Next one. Let's take a look. We'll pull it out. And it is MotoGP by THQ. I've had the, I think I have MotoGP 2 and 3, but I didn't have the original. And this is actually an Xbox exclusive right up there in the top corner. Um, I don't know that I've even seen it. There's the protector for the disc. Perfectly crisp manual. And a beautiful looking disc. So, man, MotoGP. I like any kind of racing game. Motorcycle racing games are just a little bit different twist on things. And uh, really very happy to add that to my collection. Next up, let's pull out another one. And we have oh, a game that I've looked for and I've just never come across it, even though uh, it's just fabulous to pay on any system, but especially on my Xbox. It's the Namco Museum 50th Anniversary Collection. 14 classic arcade hits. You got Pac Man, Miss Pac Man, Galaga, Galaxy, and Dig Dug, Rally X, Pole Position. Just got Pole Position for the uh, Intellivision. That was a great add up, uh, pickup. Pole Position 2, Xevious. I love that game, Xevious, and I love the music. Dragon Spirit, The Bosconian, Rolling Thunder, Mappy, and Sky Kid. So, Namco Museum, 50th anniversary, which you would think would be kind of uh, common, but it's not at all. It's rather hard to find. And this one. Look at the condition. It is absolutely perfect. So, right on. Thank you, Sebastian. Very happy to have that game. Last one in this little bundle. What is it? Oh, right on. NHL Hits Pro. And it even has the Hockey Rules hologram on it right there. And that's a beautiful arcade type uh, hockey game uh, by Midway, which tells you it's really arcade -y. Um Right on. This is beautiful nice manual it is a former rental which is not a real big deal to me of course a lot of them are going to be former rentals and just very happy to finally add that to my collection because who's on the cover nicholas lidstrom's on the cover if you don't know who that is detroit red wing uh famous famous uh, uh swedish born uh, nhl player hall of famer 100 percent, just a fantastic player for the red wings anyway uh nhl hits pro they're not that easy to find. The other NHL games are really easy to find. Not those ones so much. Anyway, thank you again. Very great to have in my collection. Next bundle. Here we go. Pulling one out. Look at this game. Samurai Showdown. Very difficult game to get. Xbox exclusive. It's uh, like a fighting game, isn't it? I'm quite sure. Arcade classic that defines the art of samurai fighting is now only on Xbox. So that's beautiful. And the condition, again is perfect wow not an easy game to find one of the one of the more expensive games that i need for my collection actually so very happy to add samurai showdown to my collection next up let's pull one out this is just like christmas pulling out at random yeah i ordered them i really don't remember how oh, cool all-star baseball 2003 Featuring Derek Jeter. Not a big Derek Jeter fan, but man, I, you can't argue that he wasn't a fantastic player. Really not that bad of a guy overall. If he didn't play for the for the Yankees, he'd be a fantastic player. If he had to play for the Red Sox, I pro Red Sox, he probably would have been one of my favorite players of all time. But manual, beautiful condition. These baseball games, they're not expensive, but they're not easy to find. And this is just like new Major League Baseball hologram on the cover. Wow, so impressive. That is beautiful. Reaching and pulling out another one. What do we got? Ha! Now the baseball game. And again, Derek Jeter on the cover. Oh, this one is Major League Baseball 2K6 by 2K Sports. These ones are easier to find. I just didn't happen to have this one. Uh, Derek Jeter being on the cover, 2003, 2006. Not a surprise. He was that good overall. And disc, manual. It's beautiful. Uh, it just doesn't get any better than that. Gonzalez. On to the next game. The next game is this one's an NBA Live 2004 with the Toronto Raptor himself, Vince Carter, probably the most famous Toronto Raptor ever. Um, he wasn't with them when they won the championship a couple years ago, uh, but uh, he was still uh, probably the best player they've ever had in the franchise's history. And again, you see these games kicking around a lot, but this is the original title. NBA hologram on the cover. And uh, it's good. It's perfect, it's just simply fantastic shape inside. NBA Live 2004 with the Raptors Vince Carter on the cover. Okay, last one for this bundle, and it is 
Superman Returns. Feels like there's no manual on this one. Maybe I didn't get the manual. Oh, it is. The manual's in there. It's just not a very big manual. That's great. Uh, the disc looks good. This is a weird game because I've seen it before in, in pawn shops and stuff, but it's always beat to crap. And I saw this one on Sebastian's site, and it looked perfect. And to be quite honest, it is in incredibly good shape. So, Superman Returns. Great edition, made collection. EA, EA, Electronic Arts, Warner Brothers, and DC. That's pretty cool. On to the next bundle. All right, I got the next bundle under wraps here. Let's pull one out. What is it? Two. Don't know what it is. UEFA Euro 2004 Portugal. EA Sports soccer title. Again, not like these are incredibly rare games, this one per se, but, well, I say incredibly rare. Incredibly expensive games. But I don't see this one around at all. It's got both the French and English manuals in it. And fantastic looking disc. I like how he puts a little piece of, uh, of uh, bubble wrap in there. And it protects the disc when you close it. That's a great idea. Mostly for shipping, eh? And uh, anyway, um, I'm not a huge soccer fan, but I do enjoy the World Cup or the the Euro European Championship title they just had it last summer. I do enjoy watching that now and again. Um, but really, uh, overall, just really happy to add one of this quality into my collection. So that's perfect. Okay, three more games in this bundle. And the next one is, I have no idea what this even really is, but it's SX Superstar from Acclaim. So you know it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be an arcadey uh, motocross title or, or trick riding title. And uh, I don't know if, what, it, what it is, if it's along the lines of like a Tony Hawk type just drawing tricks or more motocross or what. Um, don't just survive the SX experience, live it. So yeah, it's probably more of a, a trick, trick orientated game. And uh, overall, needed for my collection, just very, very happy to have it. We're really climbing well over 700 now, so it's games like this that you just don't see around that often that are difficult to find, but it's amazing to get from Respawn and Replay. So thank you again, Sebastian. Next one up, Pro Race Driver by Codemasters. Again, a typical racing game. Uh, looks like it's not stock, but just, uh, uh, well, kind of stock car racing. And again, it's got, oh, it doesn't have a French and English manual. It's got an insert plus the English manual. Beautiful condition disc. <laughs> the manual is the race log. And uh, well, just another racing game for the system. I do enjoy all kinds of racing games, and there's tons of them on the Xbox. And uh, we're whittling them down one by one. Pro Race Driver. Last game in this bundle, and it is... Broken Sword, the Sleeping Dragon. Very interesting looking game. For 360 years, an ancient manuscript remained undeciphered until now. The Adventure Company. So this obviously is an adventure style game. Uh, I saw the cover when I was ordering it. I do remember ordering this one going, I don't know if I have that. And no, I didn't have it, obviously, or I would have ordered it. But uh, I wasn't even familiar with it. I read a little bit about it. Just an, an adventure style game. Beautiful manual. Beautiful disc. Case is in immaculate condition. There was no uh, I don't know. It's just so much fun to find games like this, which really are seem very intriguing. But uh, I know nothing about it whatsoever. Broken Sword, The Sleeping Dragon. Well, we'll check it out. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Was wedged shut. And now we're down to the very last bundle. All right. There's four games in this one. We're getting through it. Oh, this is amazing to... To open these games and just pull sort of pull them out at random yeah i ordered them but i ordered like umpteen games and sphinx and the cursed mummy oh my god i've seen that game so many times and i've never had a copy myself because it's always in pretty poor shape this one's in great shape uh, artwork might be a little bit better but that's not really that bad i think it said that right in that when i ordered it, it said that right in the uh in the description so you know that that's not on me that's just the way it was i'm very happy to add it because Perfect manual, perfect disc, and this is just another adventure-style game set in ancient Egypt. So yeah. that, that's an intriguing type of uh, premise as well, just to have, have that place. THQ. Yeah, I'm not real big on THQ, but still, very happy to finally add that one, which I've seen several different times. And I think I passed it up a couple of times thinking I already had it, when in fact I didn't. So now I finally do. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. All right, next one up, and 
it is another NHL hits game with the hockey rules hologram right in the front. It's NHL hits 2003. I think there's three different ones. I now have two out of the three with this lot. I never see them around. But it looks fantastic. Look at that. Who's that? That's Chris Pronger on the on the manual and on the cover. A uh, different picture on the front, right? And on the, but Chris Pronger, he was quite the hockey player, let me tell you. About 6'6 six, six and, and tough as nails. Yeah, what a great addition. Again, it's uh, very arcadey style hockey. There's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy arcadey style hockey games like uh, Hit the Ice or the old NHL 3-on-3, three three, I think it used to be. I played a ton of that on the Xbox 360 on, on, uh, on the uh, Xbox Live back in the day. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to playing this one because I don't think I've ever had a disc like a game like the two NHL hits games where you actually can play in arcade style hockey. I don't know if you can still play the NHL Live 3-on-3 three three or not. It was a fantastic game at the time. Uh, those things sort of go away because, of course, it was all digital. But uh, anyway, uh, Chris Pronger on the front, NHL Hits 2003. So happy to add that to my collection. All right, we got two games left, and this one is in a slip sleeve. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is nice. It is the Godfather of the Game Limited Edition. That is a beautiful slip cover. There's the game on the inside. It is in perfect condition. Wow. It's got a map inside. It's got the manual. Bonus disc. And then the regular game disc. I had the regular Godfather game, but I had never seen this actual limited edition. So, so happy to add this to my collection. Um, adventure style game, Godfather game, right? You know what it's going to be. It's going to be a, uh, well, work your way through the mafia. And, uh, man, I don't know. I'm just really, really happy to, to dig into this game. I think I should do some gameplay for that one, maybe. I don't know how you would even do it, record it. Such a long, uh, long style game to play. I probably wouldn't want to stream it. But uh, probably lose a lot of hours. Maybe there won't be so many videos in the next few weeks. So I'll be busy playing Godfather of the Game. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we're down to the very last one. And let's take a look. Yes, sir. Look at this. Bloody Roar Extreme. Hudson, Hudson game? That right there was the most difficult game that I had left to find. The most expensive game that I had left to find from my collection. Fighting game. I'm not big on fighting games, but it means they are so popular. And yeah, this is Unleash the Beast Within, where you can turn back and forth. And uh, I mean, bloody, bloody war games are expensive for all systems. And this, by far, was the most expensive game that I still needed for the system after all the ones I've ever taken. Like I've always said, I'm trying to start from the top and work my way down. Well, I'm 700 and some in now, so I'm not exactly starting anywhere. But I still try to pick away at the most expensive games that I need whenever I get the opportunity to pick them up at the best price possible. Because I know for a fact this game has brought, doubled in price over the last year. So, uh, Bloody Roar Extreme by Hudson. Man. I'm so happy to finally found a copy of it, and not only find it, but a copy that is in absolutely beautiful condition. Thank you once again, Sebastian. That is amazing. That is just an amazing addition to my collection right there. Bloody Roar Extreme. Well, guys, that's it for this pickup video. All stuff from Respawn and Replay, another amazing addition to my Xbox collection from that great online store out of Montreal, Quebec. Uh, check it out. I'm telling you, Sebastian does uh, sell some amazing product, fantastic shipping, and fantastic prices too. Not to mention the Xbox games. He's got every system going, but the box protectors and to find box protectors for my tall and television games. So happy to finally be able to put get some of these games and the protectors. Like I love to have them in protectors for for the price that you pay. And this is the best price that I've ever paid for these protectors. Bloody Roar Extreme absolutely one of the most difficult most expensive games that i still needed for this collection right here well over 700 anyway as you can see coco was a lot more excited about this whole thing than i am but uh that being said i think i'll sit back and play a little bit of xbox now thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time when i get some more pickups because as i always say Probably gonna get some more pickups. Take Papa care, guys. Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. If you have
have been grown up by the age of 50. Howdy folks, TK here from the Intellivision Amico Society. You're watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. Old guy, hey he's kinda like me.